I'm Lorraine ballard Morrill. April is Autism Awareness Month, but Autism Awareness is 365 days a year. It is an issue that so many families have to confront and have to deal with, and there are many organizations that are helping folks do that. One of those is the Autism Cares Foundation. Its co-founder and CEO has joined us this morning, Linda Cooper. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me, Lorraine. Well, let's begin by talking about how you got started. Well, we started the foundation because of our son, Michael. Michael was diagnosed at two and a half with autism, and it was quite a struggle back then. We had no idea what autism was, didn't know what it meant, what our future was. It was a, quite a struggle. So we decided to, you know, get help by going to the Internet. Sometimes, you know, that was uh, hard to go through, uh, you know, reading information about autism because, again, we didn't know what it was about. And that was about 15 years ago, too. Yes, yes, exactly. So, again, Michael was diagnosed at two and a half, and we have another son, Frankie, and he is going to be 20 in August, and he'll be going to college. And, of course, his life growing up with Michael was very different. Michael's life was very different. He had no social life at all. And we wanted to change that. We definitely saw as time passed, Michael uh, had no friends, no one knocking at his door, no birthday parties. Frankie had the world. He had friends coming over, playing basketball, playing video games, going to parties. What a social life he had, which is wonderful. That's what they should have. And Michael didn't. And so how did you address that? And how are you helping other families address the issue of socialization and having that social circle of friends that everyone deserves? Oh, absolutely. Every, everyone deserves to have a, a social life. We started the foundation again because of the, you know, Michael's world not having that, that social piece. We decided to sit down one day, my husband and I, and he said, how are we going to change this? We need to change Michael's world, but how can we help hundreds and hundreds of children that are affected by the same struggle of autism? And that's exactly what we did. So we started uh, putting our thoughts together, talking with family members, talking with professional people, and we developed the Autism Care Foundation. And now we serve up to 800 families they have a choice of events to attend. Uh, we're up to 150 events a year. And since our inception, uh, when we started back in 2008, excuse me, 2008, we have over 600 activities and events for them. So they have a social life and they have friends and they get to enjoy. That is wonderful. I think that one, one thing that people may not be aware of is that when you organize events for uh, children who have autism, that you have to really tailor it to the uh, the experiences and, and the tolerance for many of the kids. There is a, an organization called the Variety Club that has an event at Sesame Place. Yes. And it's very specifically designed for children with autism. Absolutely. And I wonder if you can talk a little bit about how you, sh you shape and you manage your events to really address the needs of children with autism or young people with autism. Absolutely. Where there's a lot of factors involved. One factor is a lot of them have sensory issues. Uh, my son, in particular, has a tough time with, with crowds and just people talking at a uh, 100 miles an hour and it's difficult for him to even focus. Some of them uh, have difficulties even with lights. Some have difficulties with clothing. What we do is I take an event and we make it a safe environment for them. We also consider of, uh, you know, how they're going to interact in that environment. We also have the parents. The parents stay to just assist and help out with some of these events. Great example is our friendly sensory movies. And when we have a friendly sensory movie, the lights are up and the sound is turned down because many of them cannot attend a movie with even the previews. I mean, they even have a hard time being focused or staying in, in one place for a very long time. That is very, very difficult for them. My son likes to get up and he likes to move around and he likes to make little noises while having a friendly sensory movie. We're all together and it doesn't matter if they want to get up, if they want to move around, they can do that. So and, if, and again, with with our dances, you know, we have these dances the the DJ knows what songs to play and they go right up to the DJ and they say, I want to hear Katy Perry fireworks because they just love Katy Perry. So we really gear these events towards their needs. And these events are private because 
having. But I will say, though, we have volunteers that come in. We, we cannot do these events without our amazing volunteers. Uh, they're just we get them from the, the high schools, the colleges that come. They interact with with our wonderful uh, individuals with autism, and they just have a great time. It's it's that buddy system that is just wonderful. You know, I think um, what sounds so great about your organization is that not only do you provide the opportunity to have a, a social interaction with other kids that have that have autism, but you also provide kind of a network, really, for families. Yes. Because really, I imagine that when you first got your diagnosis for your son, you know, that was probably a very you know, just upsetting experience. And to be able to find other families who are going through similar types of challenges must be very important to have that. Absolutely. And the families that come to our events, they're our extended family. And the friendships that are developed, not just the individual with autism, what about the siblings? What about the parents? You know, I had a tough day today. You know, my Michael was really off mark the market today, and it was very difficult for me. And just to have somebody to listen is is just absolutely wonderful. So the friendships that are built, not just with the individuals with autism, but the siblings and the parents. And that's what makes us so unique is that we invite the family. So when we do a friendly sensory movie, the family members can come. And how tough it is for five family members to to attend a movie today or go swimming together today or go to a dance. And we have different dances at all different age levels and all different individuals on the spectrum. So it's really rewarding to see how happy they are and how we all come together that is that's what's rewarding and i and i truly believe autism care foundation because of the love and the support that we received from all of our supporters our volunteers are amazing absolutely amazing they come in and the and the kids really look forward to seeing them we have a fitness program that we run every thursday night at fit life in Ivy Land and they come or we run a Sky Zone event in, in Levittown. So these events are just in all different locations. We're not in one area. And of course, we're focusing on what happens after 21. My Michael won't experience getting married, won't experience having a family of his own. So we're also addressing those needs as they get older. Yeah, that's very important because that's the challenge, really, of, of children as they grow up with intellectual disabilities is being able to support them in their independence and finding a place in the world. Absolutely. And, and so if people would like more information about the Autism Cares Foundation, how can they find out more? Well, they can go to our website, again, at autismcaresfoundation.org. They can contact us at 215-942-2273 by email at info at autismcaresfoundation.org. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank and, you so much for having us. And sharing this this really great opportunity for families who have children with autism. Linda Cooper is the co-founder of the Autism Cares Foundation. Many activities that the entire family can participate in. Many chances for uh, children with autism to be able to interact with other kids and and have a social life and to be able to enjoy the things that that all of us enjoy. I want to thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you so much for having us. I'm Lorraine Ballard-Morrill.